1961, wasn't it? Yeah. So what is it? Why did he paint okay. those? He painted it because I had a show at a bar uh, that the Cuffrins and us, we used to go to and we knew the owner and everything. And he hung a bunch of my pictures. And Marshall said, Marshall was fooling around with him and he said, you know, I'm a painter too. And the guy said, mm -hmm. I'll give you a show. <laughs> too. Oh, you mean so like he, has a gal he had a gallery? Huh? He had a gallery? No, it was a bar. Oh, I see. A bar, just a, a neighborhood bar. I can't even remember the name of it. But, but was it, it, it was in on Well Street. Okay, yeah. Over on Well Street. It, before Well Street got, what can I say, not even fancy. It, well Street was like the pits. <laughs> you know, it had... Oh. Crappy bars. And it wasn't all gentrified and everything. No, not at all, not at all. So Marshall said that he could. He was a painter and that he could, you know. So the guy said he'd give him a show. So he, he went home, and I gave him a whole bunch of paint and a bunch of canvas and whatever whatever I could figure out he might need. I think it was painted on those board, those, what do you call those boards? Those, yeah, I don't know what What are those was. called? Um, the boards that you paint on? Like, they're stiff? Well, not poster board. Canvas board. Stiffer than that. Okay, is that what it is? But it was, it was just, a, it was kind of a joke. And, and he painted them all in like, one day, I think, or one, one evening. Like seven paintings. He dripped them, and I made him put down something on the floor, but he he wrecked some some a rug or something. I mean, it was, you know. So he was, was dripping and splattering? Oh, he was well, dripping. What's that guy's name who's the famous splatter painter? Well, um, he, huh? What's that guy's name who's the famous splatter painter? Oh. Uh, Oh, wait. I can't remember. Yeah, he, his stuff sells for millions. Yeah. So so did Dad ever get these hung in the bar? Sure. Did you have anything hung in there? I had a show there. So he was... And it stayed up, you know, the guy, the guy did this all the time for local people. I mean, he had a oh. space, and he had a bunch of hooks and... You know, so and, was and yours and Dad's stuff hung at the same time? No, no, he hung his at his time, and I hung mine at my time. And I think the the owner just chose somebody at random, you know, that he knew that was a drinker at his pub. That's a great story. So, how long do you think Dad's paintings were hung up? Probably a couple weeks. And I just remembered it's Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock, yeah. These kind of look like Jackson Pollock paintings. Well, yeah, the you know, the 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 blotches were <laughs> made and with enamel. He so poured, he poured enamel and. And did what, did any of them go for sale or just? They took I don't them? remember. Do you remember? Probably, if anybody wanted to buy them, you know. And do you remember if yours were for sale? Probably. That I love was, that story. That was the whole point, I think, of people hanging their stuff there. They could make a few bucks, maybe. I don't well, know. Why did Dad tell him he was a painter? Because he was joking around and, you know. He was probably drunk or something. Yeah, we were all, well, we were all drinkers in those days. And uh, who knows? I don't think the guy cared if he was a painter or not. You know, if he had enough to hang. He, <laughs> I mean, why Why not? He why probably not? painted those in a couple hours or something. He did. That is classic. He certainly did. That's so classic. But uh, the whole thing, it was, you know, just a random... Was that before Erica was born? I think so. Oh, yeah, 1961. That's right. Yeah, we knew. Sure. I forgot we had the date. I'm glad we have the date.